you guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a minute i have the flu so if i keep on sniffling i am so so sorry it is on week two last week i was sick with the flu paris was sick and then she infected me it was a whole thing um so i'm still trying to recover but i'm trying to get back into the swing of things if you're new welcome to my channel thank you so much for tuning in please subscribe we have lots 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 more coming in today's video i will be doing some of my favorite winter pieces that i have incorporated into my wardrobe as well as showing you how i style some of my everyday outfits so super exciting times please make sure that you follow me on instagram as well as on tiktok i've been making lots of content the beauty as well as fashion videos on my daily outfits so follow me over there leave me a comment down below on which other video you would like me to film on our film series so without any further ado let us get started okay so firstly it is currently it's half past four i have been filming the entire day i am absolutely exhausted because i'm still recovering from the flu i'm finding it very difficult doing my sit downs as well as my cutaways on the same day because i just get so fatigued but anyway today i am braving it out i'm super super tired i think you can tell from my face <laughs> My makeup has had a long day but i think let us get into some of the pieces that i have incorporated into my wardrobe and that i've had for a while while that i'm still loving this season first thing i'll say is that firstly where is autumn i feel like it's still summer every day is like 27 degrees it's not as hot as a summer 27 degrees but it's still hot we have very very few super super cold days so you'll be able to tell from my outfit so i think some of my favorite uh pieces for the transition for the transitional season is definitely the coats trench coats fur coats uh tracksuit those are super super comfy great pair of trainers to keep you super warm boots absolutely amazing so i think i'm just gonna go through some of the outfits that i styled i did a video over on my instagram which i said my week and outfits so i think i'm going to be bouncing back and forth between that and how i incorporate that into my autumn um into my autumn week the first outfit is my gym fit so if you don't know i'm in my fitness girl era so i go to the gym pretty often and i found that as the season is changing it's super super important to incorporate gym wear that is comfortable and that is warm for you because you'll find that if you don't have cute warm gym clothes you'll probably end up not going so and i think it's also really really motivating so the first um outfit which i would insert right here is my gym active wear really really comfortable i'll insert where i got it from right here as well i like that it's a three-piece uh so it has leggings a sports bra as well as a jacket which is super 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 important to me but beyond just going to the gym i love wearing athleisure i find it so comfortable even now i'm wearing my gym shorts because i'm so tired of squeezing myself in jeans and pants it's been a long day um so athleisure is absolutely amazing and i feel like it's so nice to incorporate into your wardrobe but it's so easy to style you can wear it with a hoodie you can go for i'm trying but i'm not trying effortless type of look i absolutely absolutely love it um some of my favorite places to get my athleisure wear is from h&m i think they have really nice and affordable items i've tried some from mr price so far what i've gotten i wouldn't say i'm too excited over it's okay but i feel like the ones from h&m are super super sturdy and of course this piece the same outfit is my gym and errands outfit so i think this is very much typical me it's a pair of track bottoms and a loose t-shirt super nice because it's monochromatic and it just makes it all the way 
it makes it seem more elevated than it actually is so my track pants are from Woolies. they're actually not even mine those are Bay's track pants but i feel like what is his is mine and my top is from carl um but again i think just getting getting plain basic tees and just basic items in your wardrobe it's really really nice i have those because you can mix and match them other places that i really really enjoy are just uh basic round t-shirts are uh, from woolies i usually get those from the men's section because i really like a slouchy fit um i don't want to feel restricted but if i do want something that's a little bit more fitted i will typically get them at fashini and zara and then i'm pairing this with my nike trainers which i got from office last year and then i'm wearing one of my newest bags which i got for my birthday it's a tote i love that for my everyday running errands it is also from karl lagerfeld it was gifted to me it's from preview so you can check it out on their website and then the third outfit is a dinner outfit aka date night um that is something i thought i would include it's a bit risky it depends on how you actually like to style items for yourself so i decided to go with no bra i didn't have boob tape but i was also just like i'm just gonna film for a few seconds but if i was actually going out i'd definitely use double-sided boob tape just to keep everything in place and if that is not your vibe then you could wear a really really nice bodysuit underneath to keep warm or you could wear a bralette just depends on how risky you're feeling but i felt like because it's a date night outfit you want to be a little extra a little you know what i'm saying and then my earrings are from lovisa and then my clutch bag i can't remember where i got it from years ago and then my heels are also from zara so i think what you will actually get to see which is absolutely no secret i love monochromatic looks i love a two-piece because then you don't really have to think everything just goes together you just put it on and you're out the door so that is my um third look next look is my meetings look or i mean meetings according to how i would dress i think if you're a corporate girly been exactly dressed like this you could tweak it a few this i paired a white shirt which is quintessential me a white shirt with some stockings as well as my prada loafers i am loving them so much i'm funji oh gosh i'm loving them so much i feel like this is exactly why i bought them i knew that they would work absolutely amazing in um autumn and spring because they're just such a nice preppy look i also paid it with a teeny tiny skirt and a blazer so i loved 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 this look i feel like it's so cool girl i also did another look where i paired the loafers with stockings and just a blazer and i wore really really short shorts which is something that's really really on trend right now but i don't think it's for everyone and to be honest i don't think that i would wear this outside but i had so much fun styling it um and i wore a uh, teeny tiny shorts underneath so if you don't know the short short is really in fashion i feel like it's not for me because <laughs> i feel like your whole thighs are outside but again i feel like you could style it with super super thick stockings like um the ones that i wear see through you could uh get the ones that are actually absolutely black if you wanted to style them and also to be warm so i think it's a it's it's a fashion piece that's not for everyone you know but all the fashion girlies i love it so i thought i would give this look a try another way that i styled my loafers i just went on i love styling them so much is a typical errands day for me which i paired with a pair of tights and a polo neck depending on how chilly it is and then i paired it with my trench coat i love my trench coat i've been loving my trench coat and right now i'm seeing the same trench coat everywhere i bought my trench coat a few years ago i got from zara but now i've seen it at cotton on i've seen it at 
for Shein, which store doesn't have this trench coat at this point? All the girlies have the trench coat. So I think if you want to give it some personality, layer it up, see how you can mix and match your pieces. I found a lot of inspiration from the girls that I follow on TikTok and Instagram. So I drew some inspiration from them. I absolutely love this look and I paired it also with white socks. I feel like that's the look that's the item that takes the look from basic to elevated because it's very fashion forward it's very fashion girl it's very i'm a pilates girl you know what i'm saying so i absolutely love this look i would typically i would typically wear this if i'm running errands i probably have to go pick up my child from school so i probably wear it with my tote bag or a really tiny bag depending on how the day will play out and the last look that i paired with my loafers is my leather pants and my blazer i thought this combo was actually it just made so much sense i think it's one of those things where i'm like i don't know what to wear it's like just mix and match items in your wardrobe that go well together so this is more of my street style almost an edgy type of look i've also uh, style this look with one of my favorite graphic tees um so it's very much sort of like i'm not really sure what to wear and i would just pull things out of my wardrobe that work effortlessly to together so i really 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 like that look now moving forward from all the loafer styling also oh <laughs> um so i would definitely say that having a pair of comfortable loafers is an essential i think it's a piece worthwhile investing at least for me it was however if you're not sure that you want to invest if you're not sure that this is your vibe um there are some really inexpensive options i've seen Fashini has them i'm sure the fix has them um but one thing i will say say is that when you are buying loafers if you want to style them how i want to style them size up a half a size or one size i wish i sized up i didn't size up but i'm just giving you words of wisdom because those shoes can be they don't really stretch because of the fabric that they use to build them I'm not sure if it is it leather or what and the shoes can be quite heavy so i don't wear them in a day where i'm like i know i'm gonna have a full day of running around i'd rather wear my sneakers but if i'm like i have one or two errands i want to look cute you know i will use those so moving on to the next look <clears throat> is my lunch slash brunch with the girls now again if you've been following me for a while this outfit is absolutely no surprise to you i think it's such a go-to for me in this look i'm pairing my very distressed uh jeans with a bodysuit as well as a trench coat because i feel like when you wear a trench coat it just looks a little more you know and then i also have my slip on uh loafers i got these loafers from shein a few years ago and i've been loving them ever since i love them to such a point where i feel like i want to get the gucci ones because those ones were just like i just want to see i want to try is it worthwhile and i feel like i loved the ones from shein for so long and they've lasted me for so long and they are so versatile in my wardrobe and how i like to style my items it is definitely something i would like to splurge into and get the gucci ones because those loafers are inspired by the gucci ones in this look i've i've paired my distressed jeans and my nude body suit which is from zara and my coat is from zara and my jeans are from Fashini and then i paired them with a bag so that's that but i think if you wanted a more put together look maybe you wouldn't wear distressed denim you could wear a more fitted straight leg jean with the same look i think for me i just love those jeans because they are so comfortable but i think they'd also work well with perhaps a darker wash jean 
um and then i also did the option of wearing them with a scarf over again depending on how chilly it is on the day the scarf that i'm wearing is from louis vuitton um i chose that scarf because it's almost a very similar tone to the coat so i was just trying to play on the tones but again if it's not that cold then i'm not gonna wear them you know I'm not gonna wear that scarf but i just thought it's nice to layer up and mix and match and see how to elevate your pieces and then the next look uh is a play date look now this look is very much me and when i say this i think you know exactly what i mean it's a pair of tracksuit it's a white pair of tracksuit i've worn it with a t-shirt in case it gets too hot or if it gets hot i mean in case it gets yeah in case it gets so hot i worn it with a t-shirt but if it decides to get a bit chilly then i could put on my track top on top i could put on my hey <laughs> jesus i could put on my track top on top yes i've paired this with a pair of sneakers again and then i'm carrying my backpack this is really nice for moms because you know you need to be hands-free and i labeled this outfit as my play date outfit so you know if your kids are going to be outside they're going to be jumping around you they want to be interacting with you you want to be available you know that's why i decided to pay this with a backpack but i think this look could also be a really really nice travel outfit love it love it love it and if you feel like the white is a bit too harsh for a play date then you could choose a different color but i think the whole point is that when you wear a tracksuit it doesn't have to be just uh, basic you know what i'm saying um so my tracksuit is from zara no my tracksuit is from fashini my top is also from fashini i have two identical tops one is from zara one is from fashini and then i'm wearing my nike sneakers and then my last but certainly not least is my outfit is my church slash brunch outfit um so in this look i was trying to think of how can i style up items that i have in a different composition because typically this outfit i'd wear it with a pair of heels but i was like how can i make an everyday outfit that you probably also have but make it a little bit edgy meaning that you probably have a monochromatic blazer and a pair of trousers so my color of choice is cream white i got both of those items from fashini you can tell the girl loves fashini and then but i decided instead of wearing it with a pair of heels i wanted to wear them with my loafers again because i was like girl this is why i bought them because anyway <laughs> but also i feel like i stand a lot in church so i was like i was just trying to see how i could switch it up so of course this is the look my pair of trousers has a slit on the side but i think if you had a pair of trousers that doesn't have a slit on the side then it still work and mine is a flared pants uh again playing with different types of silhouettes that work best for your shape and how you want to feel so even if it was a straight leg i think it would work i think um this look could also be easily worn with the pink suit so instead of wearing the heels i could have also worn it with the loafers and maybe a black polo neck if it was a chilly day and then i just have a black and pink look i hope that makes sense so those are some of the looks that i have been styling i hope you guys enjoyed this video it took me a few days to get it together so please make sure that you don't thumbs it up share it with your friend let me know what look was your favorite look which other um, outfits would you like me to style for different occasions i want to hear all of your suggestions if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below please make sure to subscribe follow me on my instagram and on my tiktok and i'll see you next time bye Watch